So are you selling people what they need or what they want? Because one of these are gonna be a complete game changer for your business. So there's a huge difference between wanting something and needing something. And in fact, 3% of your target customer will want and need your product. So if they find you, that will mean they will buy from you. And 17% of your target customer wants your product, but they don't fully understand why they need it. So they'll need educating on this, so they're more likely to buy from you. And 80% of our target customer neither want or need our product. But the real crazy thing is that most business owners actually try and sell to the 3% and market to the 80%. And this means that the 17% who actually want our products but don't understand why they need it, well, we're missing the biggest opportunity here because all we need to do is educate them through our marketing message. So with this being said, your marketing and messaging needs to speak volumes about what your target customer wants most. And not only that, in your sales conversations, you need to make sure you are selling the outcome, the result of where your customer wants to be and not your product. Now, the reason I say this is because so many business owners and startup entrepreneurs focus on selling the features and the bells and whistles of their products and service. And to be honest, the prospects, the customer, they just don't care. They care about themselves and their problem being solved, the outcome or the results they can get from your product or service. So as an example, if I'm gonna buy a power drill, and by the way, I am I'm awful at DIY, but if I am gonna buy a power drill, I'm not buying the power drill for the sake of doing so. I'm buying it because I want a hole in the wall so I can hang a picture of it. That's the outcome I truly want from buying a power drill. Or to take it a step further, we have um, an ex-police officer. Uh, she's a client of ours and uh, she helps um, senior leaders or executives and CEOs and CFOs to have the most remarkable holiday experience for themselves and their families. Now, although the holiday is amazing, there's some tropical, amazing places that they go, um, it's not that that Laura sells. She's actually selling time for that business owner, that entrepreneur, that CEO, that CFO, because they're busy people and to book a holiday for all their family and big resorts and you know, to find somewhere new, that's gonna take a lot of time. Well, Laura sells that time by doing that for them. Or we have a guy called Jamie, who's a serving police officer. He's in the marketing space, the SEO space. Um, he's in um, lead generation. He's not actually selling Facebook ads. He's not selling, you know, Instagram ads or social media marketing. The outcome he's selling is more qualified leads and ultimately more sales for his customer. Or we have Chris Latter, who helps um, his customers with the most amazing um, gardens they can possibly have. And he doesn't sell, you know, the landscaping or the design. He sells those summer barbecues with friends and family enjoying themselves in the most luscious environment. Or with Kelly Wynn, who is a specialized beagle trainer. Um, she doesn't sell the training to her customers. She actually sells a loving relationship with dogs and their dog owners, their beagles. Now, once you actually start focusing on the results and the outcome that your customers want, not only are you gonna differentiate yourself from the rest of the market and the people who are focused on the products and service, but also you're gonna be able to communicate your value far more effectively than you ever possibly can, which actually means you're gonna get a massive boost in sales performance. So if you're in business right now or you're thinking about going into business, I'd really encourage you to write down five to seven outcomes that your customer truly wants. What is the result they're after? You know, how do they wanna feel after using your product or service? And by knowing these things, Overall, they're gonna help your business and you're gonna stay a lot more connected to your customers. Now, if you're an excellent serving police officer and you're looking to go into business or scale your existing business, then please do check out our business accelerators by clicking on the link around this video. And also, if you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.